what, what the mate is talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Atlanta Interim Police Chief Rodney Bryant conducted a press conference where he addressed protest, sick outs, and the state of affairs with the citizens of Atlanta. He tried to make it seem like it was a bipartisan press conference where he was representing the A, what is it, APD, Atlanta Police Department, and the citizens of Atlanta, but you could clearly see that he was biased. He was really swaying toward making sure that he made his point to ride for the thin blue line. He said that the primary purpose of the press conference was to address Atlanta police officers' ability to respond to 911 calls. Now, family, this is a dog whistle. This is what they do when police departments come under attack. The first thing they do is try to instill fear in the public. Oh, without us, you know, it's going to be anarchy. And we're just trying to do our jobs. And we're here. It's a dangerous job, first of all. Police officers have one of the safest jobs in the world. It's not a dangerous job. Not when you compare it to some other jobs. Window washing is a far more dangerous job. Lumberjack is a far more dangerous occupation. Being a bus driver is a far more dangerous occupation. Far more people die just on regular jobs like landscaping. So if the police is gonna be protected to such an extent, why not protect all these other people in these other professions? No, nah, being a police officer is not a hell of a hard job. All they do is go around starting trouble all day long, most of them, that's what they do. The ones who are out in the field, they target people, they profile people, they pick on people all day long. They don't like somebody, how, how somebody's driving, pull them over. They don't like what you look like, they pull you over and they create the crime. Yes, that is the truth. The police patrol. They're not looking for crimes. They're looking for targets. People they can put a case on. People they can write a ticket on. It's not a difficult job. If they think it's going to be difficult, they call in back up till they get you outnumbered and then they go in. No, it's not difficult. Police officers show up 99% of the time after a crime has already been committed. So if somebody is in a shootout, you're not going to see the police. You ever notice when the shootout is happening, the police is never around? When the person is violating you, abusing you, the police ain't there. The police comes afterwards. Usually when the police shows up, they're creating a situation. They're, they're escalating the situation. They are charging people. You can call the police you can call 911 for somebody breaking into your house and they'll mess around and arrest you. They come to your house and treat you like you're the damn suspect. Might shoot you. They have actually shot people who call 911. They see you walking through your house, they pull out a gun and shoot you through the window. You open the door. You can open the door, they'll shoot you. But being a police officer is not a dangerous job. Oh, it is far more dangerous to be a rapper. This 
police officer, this chief of police, Rodney. I don't trust him. I don't trust him at all. He's been on the force for 31 years, he said. Now, this dude was reading the press release like it was his first time reading it, which makes me believe that perhaps he didn't even write it. The way he was stumbling all over the damn words, they should have just wrote up a damn memo if he was gonna read it word for word. This dude seems like to me, he wrote the short bus. But this is what they do fam. Every time the public challenges the police department collectively, they get defensive. The first thing they do is they start to whine, like they whine, whine, whine. Start crying about, oh, we just out here trying to protect, what are you gonna do, you know? You know oh, and this, this, oh, they love saying this. And the neighborhoods that are most affected are the, the black neighborhoods and the Latino neighborhoods and these underserved neighborhoods, these low, low, low income neighborhoods, you know, they're the most crime written. And so they need our protection more than anything. Keep in mind, this is where the police beat up people and kill people mostly too in the hood. No, nah, I don't think so. I don't think we need your, your protection like that because the people in the hood don't do not get police protection. They get police harassment. OK. Usually when the po look, I lived in the hood for 18 straight years. When the police showed up, I never remember one time the police waving, having a smile, just being courteous. They always showed up angry. With an attitude, being aggressive. Somebody even when somebody get killed. A body is laying on the ground. People are crying. People are in pain, hurting. They'll be off to the side joking, laughing and going on. Now, we don't need you like that. So what they're going to do is they're going to use the very first case where somebody gets killed. They're going to say, well, you know, if we had officers in that area, it wouldn't have happened. But who's to say they didn't actually do the killing? I don't trust them like that, fam. Some of y'all who they protect, I can see why y'all trust them. But in, in the black neighborhoods, no. They do more damage than good. Believe that. They do way. If they didn't, the people would trust them. You think people in the hood don't want to feel protected? Most people that live in the hood are honest, law-abiding people, hard-working people. They take the worst out of the hood and use it as an example of the whole hood. In the hood, it's a few people in every neighborhood that make it bad for everybody. So what they're going to do is they're going to use the first case where somebody is killed or raped or violated, robbed or something. They're going to say, see that? If we, were, if we had cops in that area, it wouldn't have happened. So this is what the cops are doing in Atlanta. They're calling in sick. They're calling in sick so that they can put the pressure on the public to ease up off of them and not defund them. It's a hustle. They're trying to blackmail the public into allowing them to continue to violate them by calling in sick and some of them are resigning. I say, let their asses go and then allow the new police officers who have the right intent to come in. They're quitting the force because they're afraid that they're going to lose their pension. They're going to get fired. 
They're quitting because the people are trying to hold them accountable and they don't want to be held accountable. So they're like, well, if you're going to hell, let's hold me accountable, I may as well just quit. I'm just going to quit. Well, I'm going to call in sick. What you mean? You know, what you mean? You're going to, you're going to hold me accountable and you're going to, you're going to make justice swift and fair. Wait a minute. You know, you don't treat us like that. We're police officers. You need to treat everybody else like that, but not us. You know, if somebody kills a police officer, yeah, you can you can snatch them up off the streets and charge them the same night, put them in jail and, 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 and don't even give them a bond. But for us, it's got to be due process. You got to go in and do a full investigation and, while the, and the officer got to be uh, let uh, let let go uh, on leave, uh, on paid leave. And uh, you know, we got to do a whole lot of uh, uh, investigations and stuff and exploratory get, get, get evidence. We got to do all kinds of things before we charge an officer. But everybody else, you get it the same night. You get it on site. That's what they're mad about. That's why he held the conference because he's trying to get things back to their normal as soon as possible. Atlanta, hold the line. Do not fall for that shit. It's a trap. The interim police chief cannot be trusted just like the police chief who resigned could not be trusted. They're all in the same game. It is them against you. Not because you made it that way, because that's the way they like it. No more talk. What the haters talking about?